Hi, hello. And this is the... Uh, what's the freaking quest called? The Tuyun Veil quest, whatever. I'm just gonna short form it, whatever, man. Anyway, some part of it is from the summon, so yeah, it's a little awkward. I'm going the wrong path. And then... Yeah, it's not voice, so I'm gonna be voicing it. It's not gonna be fun for me. But hey, <gasps> squirrel. What? In no way. I. What the f? <laughs> Welcome, one name is Fujin, a local adeptus, and this is the tiny little teapot we have one call home for now. Huh? We were still in the mountain just now. How did we suddenly end up here? One invited you to come as a guest, yet failed to sufficiently explain beforehand such as such behavior was careless, and one begs of you for forgiveness. Uh, Paimon is not sure this counts as an invitation, that's all. So do you just swoosh all visitor to tune your veil in here like this? <laughs> of course not. Many come and go from Chunyun Vale, but it was only in light of your incredible compatibilities with the local spirit veins that I choose to invite you to. Yeah, you know us. Your names were carried here by a fish that swim. I have long anticipated your visit. It's a pity that it's now not quite convenient, else I would have invited you to a tea task, tea, tea task tasting banquet. Speaking of which, I am quite sorry, but I have to request you of you make. We're just passing through though. Please speak. Thank you. I assume the two of you have heard of the tea village of Chunyun Vale. Something village. This land has been famous for its cool, fragrant water since ancient times. The people here are gentle characters. Gentle characters? What the f- Okay. And pistil pebbles. Okay. I hear but incoming. Precisely, the waters and soil of Chunyun Vale have begun to change recently and has the scent of its tea. I'm gonna say it. Xiao Xiao Ying Village. Xiao Ying Village. I'm gonna call it Xiao Xiao Xiao. <laughs> Xiao Ling Village will invet in inevitably decline should this persist. I hope that you two can resolve the disharmony of the soil and water on behalf. The water veins are spread across the mountains, but my powers are no longer sufficient, nor is the present of good time for me to move about. Thus I must rely on your kindness and aid. Uh, we aren't exactly expert when it comes dealing with soil and water. Is there any problem that is there a problem that Aoi can solve without by resorting by without violence? <laughs> ah, I just has heard. You're quite direct, but fat not, you are clever by nature. I trust that you shall go to the heart of the any problems you might encounter. Sure. Well then, allow me to share some of the adapter energy. Dwelling in mortal world with you, are we? To aid you in traverse, traverse, traversing the landscape and piercing the fog. Oh, right. Mm, it's nice to meet you. Eh? Mm, I mean, welcome to this place. That is to say, welcome to Chunyonville. Thanks. What do you mean, welcome? This was clearly a kidnapping. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I was looking forward to meeting you face to face and was rather hoping you two would be magnanimous enough to forgive the improper theory. Yes, now that you have indwelt with my adapto energy, whoa, things will become more convenient. Now please try the wonders that of said energy yourself. I can become a fish. I thought it was a mini game. I thought it was a mini game for Lantern, right? What? Why? Oh, by the way, Paimon is not sure if this is an appropriate thing to say, but your hour sounds a bit different from the other adept types you met somehow. Hey, <laughs> my friends have said similar things before, but surely it's only natural that each 
individual person <clears throat> cough what is <laughs> I mean adapters have an aura of their own your friends huh Ooh, they must be a formidable adapter like mount moon craver or mountain shaper yes that's exactly how it is it's just that those two fans are probably busy taking care of their own affairs right now that is why one must leave this business to nursing the water and soil to the two of you instead i'm still not sure where we exactly it is what we are meant to do but uh we will take a look anyway where the fuck are we to touch Come on, anything investigating the floor. Let's head to the village first. You know, I didn't read that. Ah, finally, you're here. Is something in the matter? Oh, are you young lady? Are the daughter of the Fu Yun Commons Guild manager? Strange. All the rumors I heard spoke of a young master. Ah, uh, nope. We are here to investigate. I am but a humble servant, the one beside me, in fact, the real... <laughs> uh, no... Oh my, you aren't the commons guild, young lady? My apologies, I was considering only your wondrously fashionable attire and your flying companion. Your conduct too, was so unlike ours that I assume that you must have come from Dewey Harbour to discuss matters with us. Lou. I am surnamed. What? And all in the village call me Grandpa Lu. <sighs> I apologize, I must. Recent years have not been kind. I have not even the tea to treat you to as guests. The adepti will certainly not be satisfied with the tea ceremony this year. Uh, huh. Grandpa Lu, the stuff right behave by you and those tea leaves? The quality is far too lacking. How could I possibly serve such things to my guests? Speaking honestly, we are waiting for someone from the Fuyun Commons Guild for we must discuss with them the tea leaf problem. They are our biggest customers after all. The crux of the matter is that this batch of tea is simply unsatisfactory, whether it be in terms of taste or quantity. This is an open secret among tea merchants. Oh Lao. Old Lao, the village chief, has decided that no tea may be sold until the quality problem is solved. I have heard that the young master of the common skill is exceptionally smart and skilled. If he has caught wind of that this year's tea harvest was lacking in both quality and quantity, I thought he would come in person, if not send someone here. So here I wait. Anyway, the problem with the tea leaves is, I believe, lies with the soil the problem with the soil indeed i've lived here my whole life and worked with tea since i was but a wee lad and i can notice problem that others may miss as i see it the may adaptus fujin bless us it must be an imbalance in our soil and water adaptus fujin oh you you heard of the tale that's quite rare even among locals, few remember. Many, many years ago, Kueyong village was nothing but a barren hill. Terrifying demons dwelt there, and it was all thanks to Adeptus Fujin that the demons were defeated. The tea trees were planted, allowing our ancestors to come here, come and live here. But if there is really a problem with the water and soil, then I don't know what we can do about it. Actually, that's what we are here to investigate for. Yeah, I don't know what we can do about it either. So that means you believe me, young lady. Yes, I believe you. Is that so? Then, that makes things easy. Come, I'll bring you to the tea leaf sample. And let's go take have a talk with old Lao. They call him Lao or Lu? No, this is Grandpa Lu. Okay. Mm, is something wrong, Grandpa? Young ladies, if it is too much trouble, could you pretend that you are from Fu Yin Commons Guild when we are meeting the old fowl? Village chief 
Lao, I'm so over the place. He's a good person, but how do you put this? He's put more trust in machines, cultivation techniques, fertilizers, and things like that. I mentioned an imbalance in the soil and water before. We parted that, parted on bad terms. But if it was the young lady of the Fuyun Guild, I guess I can try. Doesn't seem like a good plan to pine on. Aya, don't worry. Even if we see through it, nobody's gonna, I, it's nobody's idea but mine. None of the blame shall be falling to you. Let's go. To new blessing of the sunken jade. Interesting. Uncle Liu, this pest has isn't any good. They're not fragment enough when you dry them. And they get so dry and brittle that you can't even put them in a roller. Even the ones that survived the secondary process came out the other end and complete disaster. Are you sure this isn't a problem with the machine? Are you sure he hasn't forgotten how to operate it? What a thing to say, how could we be dead be the careless with you looking over our shoulders? Hm. How could you indeed? Hmm? Ah yeah. It's Grandpa Lu. Jin, get back to work. And this respectable looking young miss is... Aha. Uh -huh. I am the young lady of the Fuyun Command Guild. I'm the one who comes to the aid and oppressed the moments in the disciple of the Guoha clan. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? And you even claim yourself a member of the Guoha clan? Mm -hmm. This young lady of the Fuyun Command Guild. Uh, she really likes reading Wandering Hero novels for fun. Um, and uh, the landscape of Chuyun Vale is filled with mysterious mystique. Uh, it's gone to her head. <laughs> and this is my servant. It was suffice to call her Mini Pie. <laughs> yes, that's me. Call me Mini Pie. In that case, welcome, welcome. A guest like you is a rare treat indeed. We have been quite reliant on your assistant of the Commons Guild for many years. But as for what happened this year, I suspect you already heard of it. What's wrong? You're looking already pale and pretty miserable. Did Jin mess up the work again? Hmm, <laughs> you all mocking me. <clears throat> my apologies, my dear guests. Normally I would invite guests from afar to sample our new teas. But this year's batch, uh, well, you know. No tea? Are you seriously gonna let me, the young lady? No need to stand on ceremony, Chief Liao. Leo, we're here to help. Yeah, the young lady is very concerned about the tea leaf, so there's no need to be so tied up with formalities, Chef Leo. Chief Leo. Aha, very well then. To tell the truth, the patch of tea leaves is no good either. They can't be dried, and ca I can't tell if they are bad when they are picked or is the problem with the machine in our workshop. Hmm, huh. how is that difficult? Why not just use some of the older leaves you have stocked and see if the product you get from drying them is any different. If the product is normal, then you will be you will know it's a problem with the machine. Uh, seriously, I told you before, forget it. As we have important guests present, then we will give your method a try, Jin. Do you have any fresh tea leaves remaining from the older batches? There's some in the warehouse. What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, good one. We've been talking here for a good long while and now you weren't listening a single word, weren't you? <sighs> Go fetch some of the older batches and process along some of the newer stuff that Grandpa Lou brought out using the machine. Don't you dare skip a single step. I will be watching you. After that, the batches... Oh, about this, I see our two guests are quite young. They might be for a snack for two taste tea tasting. Why not turn these two batches into tea cakes? The quality of each will be evident by a single taste. What do you think, old Liu? Liu? Agreed. We'll do just that. Jin, listen up. Take these two batches of tea leaves and make them into two different tea cakes. One cake from each batch. Don't you dare get even a single leaf mixed up. Alright, Uncle Liu. You want me to mix them all into one cake? Oh, for the love of... I can't even... I like how he specifically said don't mix it up, I didn't say mix it up. <laughs> ah yeah, sorry for the wait. We got both tea cakes here, let's try them one at a time, shall we? 
Well, how's it taste? Um, the first one tasted strange. The second one was delicious. Hmm. You seriously gonna let the the young lady eat? I agree. Oh, the tea cake made from the tea we had in stock tastes fine. <sighs> All right, you win. So according to you, the tea processing machine is fine. In other words, the problem is the tea leaf itself. This new batch of tea is not good as before. So the water and soil. But perhaps it's the cordon that's the problem. It's old and dis disrepair, which may have offended the adapters, causing the tea to deteriorate. No, 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 no. There is the soil and the water. It's the element that nourish the soil. The ah, oh, enough, enough. Let's get to the technician in charge of the tea cordon here first. In is the Fontaine, the one Fontaine research guy. Um, hot. Oh, what was his name again? Ah, oh, the name is such a pain to pronounce. Jin, go get it, will you? Jin? Jin! <laughs> ah, just what he did. Lazy loafer soap a scope. What? To this test time, ah, uh, this brainless nitwit. I was going to have him go to the wharf in search of a technician. Will you specifically need someone to Fontaine to fix it? About the wharf? I'm the only senior. About the wharf, the port to the west, uh -huh. much smaller than Leeway Harbour, huh? The specialties we export to Fontaine and Sumeru, along the oddities we import them to go through it. A whole lot of the tea is also transported through there, though this batch of tea leaf isn't any good. Until we figure out why and solve the problem, we won't sell anything to outsider. The last thing we want is to ruin the village's good name. You see, honored guest, I'm really sorry, but I need to trouble you to go to wharf to the wharf to find our technician, Miss Oat Min Oat Moon Tan Yi. What? It's more likely than not she found herself in a show that that can she can't tear her eyes off. How could you possibly dare ask our guest to do such a thing? Oh, Liu, 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 Liu. You misunderstand me. Our honored guest already had business to attend to to the wharf, and it will be just passing along the message along the way. It's nothing really. Is that so? Is that so? It seems to be. I'm truly sorry then. If you would, honored guest, oh Lu, I will leave it to you two to accompany them. Ah yeah, thanks for your hard work. You should. You scared old Liu, Liu so much that he was jumping on his own shadow. You mentioned earlier that you're here to investigate the water and soil, right? Best head over to the wharf then. It isn't far from the headwaters, and there's a ruin left by the dead tile along the way. So you are looking for clues? That's your best bet. As passing a message to the old moon Tan Yi, well, please lend a hand, would you? Give old Liu, Liu, Liu peace of mind so that he doesn't worry himself to death. <laughs> For the young lady, this is but a trifling matter. Hey, why are you still acting? The show is over and Paimon realized, what's with a mini pie anyway? Anyway, leave it to us. You can rest easy, Grandpa Lu. Such great kids you are. Really great kids. Alright, I noticed you two really enjoy the tea kit. Why don't I teach you a recipe? Next time you come over for quality tea leaves, I'll make you some for yourself. In any case, safe travel. Be careful with the mountain path. Mind don't do you do what? Huh? I gonna what? Where? Oh! It seems like that the energy that, that was granted to us. Where are you going? Want me to go there? Oh. oh, that made it. Nice. What am I doing? Oh, solve the puzzle. 
stop ads attacking you guys uh see stop stop come down come down come down okay I was about to walk in the water. Hehe, <laughs> Aoi, Paimon, you two are indeed brilliant as suspected. Upon seeing my dissipated adaptive energy, you immediately understood the situation. Of course, we are super duper experienced adventurers, you know. Still, why didn't you say anything sooner? You didn't just forget, did you? Um, mm -hmm. about that, should not the path of the adaptive be full of challenges? This merely test your wisdom. Call me a master test talker. Wait a test taker. <laughs> uh, it was you who brought us here. Speaking of it, this was the problem with the soil and water you mentioned before. Grandpa Lu was also sure that it was behind the deteriorating quality of the tea leaves. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have too been to the village. Should the quality and the quantity of the tea leaf continue to decline, so will the village until finally, in the years to come, it dis degenerate. Oh man, my vein! <laughs> Back into what it was a millennia before, a desolated mountain forest. Are you sure that isn't a hyperbole? <laughs> It's true, the Lord of Geo will not stand idly by as disaster before. Were the sky to collapse and the conqueror of demons and other adepti would do their utmost to support it? Should the waters under the wharf breach and dikes there and flood Liwei's harbour would aid the villagers? But without tea, this stretch of mountain would, or the village rather, would lose its very reason to exist in human eyes. That makes sense when you put it that way. Paimon thinks. So, are you two willing to help me correct the imbalance in the water and so on? What do you say, Mini Pie? Who the heck is Mini Pie? Never said that name before. Hmm. My Paimon wants to help adapt this Fujin and the village. When she thinks about such delicious tea cake being lost forever, just because there's no good tea, it will be a big shame. Shame, wouldn't it? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Your willingness to, is commendable, and the and one is quite grateful for you both. Now back to business. Business. Uh, business. When it comes to how to resolve the disharmony in the soil and water, one is needed. Well aware to do of what? What? First, you two must go up against the currents and seek the jade treasure thrown into the waters. In the end, we must perform an ancient rite once more. Dispelling the mias miasma and has settled over the mountains and fills and into the rivers and restore the water veins and soil. Okay, got it. But uh how do we do the ritual? Huh? Adaptive Fujin? What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. As for the ritual, it's a still a bit too early for that. Well then, we'll see each other again later. And she's gone. According to her, we need to go against the current. That means we must go upstream, right? That's the same di direction to the wharf. Let's go. Oh, hi. Though I don't understand it at least, I still think it's amazing. Just watching her stand there singing or sing while walking around or sing while sitting and just and then sing just like with her hand slowly lays it fall and uh huh I really don't know what just what kind of magical powers the old lady has babbling, chanting, singing, reciting, reciting and crying I haven't got a clue of what she's saying but it's amazing little Mao, can you understand? haha <laughs> that's how just the opera singing is and when there are fight scenes later there was this old dude who could do 88 flips and tricks Riveting stuff. Yeah, it's great. It's just a shame that I don't stand a thing. A whole bunch of people fighting and jumping all over the place. All super flashy and stuff. One on one, several on fighting each other, six or five turns. It just 
almost almost addictive. Hello, we are looking for a technician from Fontaine. Chef Leo and Grandpa Lu said, um, what's the name they give us again? Old Moon Tan Yi. <laughs> yep, sounds like Grandpa Lu, Lu alright. Just call me Hoe Tomon Ting Ni. What the fuck? I'm a researcher from the Fontaine Institute. Haha, <laughs> I'm the young lady from the film. Come on, secure. I'm the one who ate <laughs> the disciple of Guaha. What? I'll have you know that I'm a honorary senior researcher. Seriously, is that really the moment to be comparing? Anyway, she's our and this is Paimon. It was Aunt Grandpa Lu who sent us looking for you. Whoa. Ah, so your colleagues from the Institute. Excellent. Looks like you guys couldn't stand that hopeless wreck of your organization either. Miss Aoi, Miss Paimon, hello, I'm Little Mao. I'm friends from the mountains. Of the mountains. Yes, that's what my name means. I'm not gonna say that. Can be a bit hard to pronounce, so I asked Little Mao to just call me that. Really? Quite an interesting pair. How did you do me? Uh, it's quite fortuitous. Last year, I went to the mountains in the south for a spell and got lost in a fog. A huge beast in the size of a cow. Antian Lewis was glaring at me and I thought I was done for and but then just the little kid suddenly shouted at me I followed the sound through the mist and got out and I was safe otherwise I would have been eaten just like that and my family in Fontaine wouldn't have even be able to claim compensation on my account <laughs> I know more than what goes on in the mountain than the grown-ups is that so? you're amazing little Mao. We are here about the tea cauldron in the village. Alright, got it. I'll be there in the jiffy. <sighs> All the shows here are just too good. I ended up watching several, one guy after the other. And now my legs haven't have fallen asleep. But I just can't understand a word. What sort of stories are they telling? It's about a way, how way back when a huge cub and a monster from the mountain fought. And a you kill me, I kill you story. In the end, everyone dies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, little Mao. That's a concise summary, but don't talk about killing and dying so much, little Mao. If you think about that kind of stuff too often, you might become a villain when you go up. Since those villagers are waiting for me, it's time to go. See you later. Let's go watch the show again here when you're about to head back to Fontaine. Hmm. Oh, wait what? Okay now that we solved the puzzle, can we go back to business, Lina Mao? How about you? What are you two gonna do? Hmm, to be honest, we're not quite sure how to explain it. The water and soil in Chun Yu Vale are kinda out of whack, and we need to cure them of everything in to make it better. I get it, Miss Paimon. Is trying to say that we need to restore nature? Huh, you're right. That's really amazing, Lina Mao. You got it right away. Restoring nature, you say? Did someone talk to you about this? That's right, a friend who is always taking care of me told me. She wants to restore nature too. If you restore nature, everything will get better. So I want to help too. She also told me about you too. Oh, you seen her too? You mean my friend? Of course, silly Miss Paimon. How could we be friends if I never seen her? Uh, fair point. That makes things easier then. Actually, we want to... Mm, Paimon remembers we need to find jade treasures in the water and then do some rain jade right. But even though we are upstream, mm, we still haven't found any clues. Ah, I know. Come with me. I'll show you what you're looking at. What? Really? Little Mao, your friend wants to restore nature, right? Yep, she told me a lot. Such a story from uh, the village became the village. <laughs> How the tea tree leaf became to be, and more. She said that things will get worse and worse in Chinyu Vale if natural order isn't restored. Looks like we're on the same page then. Did the amount, just as you said, we knew we could find leads, right? Yep, I don't know if it would help, but when you mentioned jade treasures and rain jade stuff, I just thought of something. Come with me. Yep, let's go. Over here, over here. Oh, here, over here. 
Whoa, slow down. I am moving as slow as I can. Watch a step. There's a moss on the cliff. It's very slippery. You're the one who needs to be careful here, boop. Okay. <laughs> okay, you see the cavern behind the wall? Try not to get soaked. You might get hit to cold. Um, what? Is it blocked off? Is it that thing? You gave me energy? Uh huh, okay, but. Bop. Mm. Whoa. Oh, cool. That's cool. Explore the domain. I was about to say dominion. Number one. Bro, boy? Jeez. Little mount. Next time we can swim here. Uh, okay, sure, buddy. What's this? Huge claw mark and paw print. Some huge wild beasts left them behind. Yeah, huge, right? Oh, chess. That's uh, my secret base. Is the camp here? You still need to stay safe. Uh, where you at? My friend will protect me. Oh, this is your base. Uh, cute, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> it's the clue that I wanted to show you before. Right here. Right now. What's on Teyvat? What on Teyvat is that? It's so covered in moss that Paimon can't even hit. Uh, make his hotel. Uh, it wasn't any moss the last time I came here. No need to worry. It amount it is so humid here that it's no wonder there's moss growing everywhere. Hmm. There must be some way to clear it. Bruh. Oh. Boop. Oh, can Oh, I'm like, whoa, so slow. <laughs> Look how we look! It's the scene of the ancient people attending the festival and performing a ritual. Pretty different from the festival we have today, huh? Although the grown-ups in the city and the village says that the Lord of Geo was the first to arrive in Chunyu Vale, I've heard that the people in the picture actually got here even earlier than he did. People back then used to throw bits and ma of magic jade into the river, and they are floating along until they sank to the bottom. They say it was a way to guarantee good wealth, good weather, prevent the river from flooding, and ensure that the soil will be fertile. Based on what we previously discussed, I'm guessing that Chunyun Vale will only be fixed after we found the jade that was thrown into the river in ancient times. That makes sense, doesn't it? Wow, you're so knowledgeable. Was your friend also the one who told you this story? You will, little mouth. First class glide. Glide. Legends are fascinating. Yep. And everyone will be really blessed and live happily ever after. And all that. <laughs> I have much preferred hearing her stories about ancient wars and battles. She told me that the warriors back then were all giants who were, were over 10 feet tall. The warriors of Chun Yu Vale were covered in tattoos and they had these massive jade axes. That could chop a person in half in a blink of an eye. And the Millilith, led by none other than the Lord of Geo himself, were even tougher. They clad themselves in suit of armor that weighed over the thousand pounds and fought with hundred pound spears. Apparently everyone was at war back then, so much of this, so much of so that Bishui River turned crimson red. Later on, the mountains on the south beach, south became full of ghosts at the Ava. Even now, those who wander through the mountains might still might be able to catch their singing in the wind. Uh. Yeah, scary scarf. Cover your ears, mini pie. Hmm. Who's mini pie? I'm not gonna say that. Right through you. Right though. If you consistently think about their stuff. You turn into a villain when you're older. Eh, there's no way many, there's no way grown-ups will tell this story. They always say we are too young to hear them, and that they will turn us rotten and stuff like that. 
But I'm old enough already. Hearing a story is not going to turn me into a monster. Besides, there aren't many grown-ups still. And there are many adults still around who knows this story anyway. If my fan hadn't told me, I wouldn't even know the story about the picture. Um, okay, fine then. Guess we'll move on. So the grown-ups are right to say that those ancient people threw the jade into the river from somewhere high up. But where exactly? And where did all the jade float off to? Uh, well, it must have sunk to the bottom, right? It's not as simple. If it was thrown into somewhere, somewhere up river, and even if it sank to the bottom, it would still be pushed down river by the current, let alone after so many years. Besides, I never heard any of the ancient ritual jade, ritual jade being found up river. Tunyuvale is a small place, after all. If there had been rumors, everyone would have known about it. You know so much. Hmm. You're such a future scholar material for sure. <laughs> but what if I don't know, don't want to be a scholar? They don't earn much more and it sounds like no fun. Uh, they become a traveler, just like us. What could be more fun than adventuring around the world? Hmm, seeing as we know the side of the rain jet, right? What should we do next? Maybe we should go somewhere high. Let's observe how the river flows. High up, huh? The watchtower in the wharf is pretty high up. Okay. Alright, let's go. Oh wow, you actually teleported me. Look, up here. You can clearly see how the water moves faster than through those narrows and down slow again as the river widens out. The jade... <coughs> wow. <coughs> the jade must have stopped there. We should find what we're looking for over there. Wow, you're such a whisk kid. Paimon been wondering though, what's that massive thing in the distance? Oh, that thing? It's a jade mouth. A legendary jade ring that an adapter threw into the water. Oh, but the river curves around there, so the current should actually speed up. Uh, but the river actually gets wider there. Yeah, so the rapid flow around the pen might have resulted in a thing in things being deposited along the convex bank but it widens so there's actually a good chance that a jade is at the bottom of the river somewhere around jade mouth of course that's assuming that the course of the river hasn't been artificially altered hmm not to mention there's a fisherman legend that goes something like jade shall rise from sunken mouth or something like that anyways let's go over there and take a look Compared to Little Mao, Paimon feels like she's completely out of the depths. Yeah, is it because my friend is amazing? She knows everything there is to know about the mountains, and she taught me loads too. That's how I learned so much. Sorry Paimon, you just need to be better friends. You just need better friends. I'm unfit for duty, Mini Pai. As the young lady, I must... I am most disappointed. <laughs> Are we? This is, has the... Has the... Rarefied mountain air or miasma gone into your head or something? Or does the adaptor energy use have side effects? You're pretty, we have been pretty slain, tree. Oh, whatever the case, let's go down the mountain on the bamboo F. Woohoo, Jade Mouth, here we come. Look, the bamboo F. Guess we got a boat we can take. Something, someone coming aboard? Oh, wait, is that Little Mao? Come on, come, I'll take you. Alright, boom man, take us to the Jade Mouth. Alright, Jade Mouth it is. The other two, your tourists? <laughs> well, if you're here for the sightseeing, there's not much locals who head that way. Hey, you could say that, Mr. Boatman. Is there any story about Jade Mouth I haven't heard about? Knowing you and how much you love story, kiddo, you must have heard them all by now. <laughs> tell me more, tell me more! Alright then, well I've heard a mention of that a dead mouth was left behind by Vex Lapis when he marched through the safe to people of Juniorville. Legend has it that it's prevent a naval advance from Downsville to the local adapter. You're making up as you go, Gramps. There's no way Leeway Navy came up here, River. I've heard that the dead mouth was formed by a piece of jade left by a giant cop. In those days, a belly god tried to redirect the river down the Millilith station on the boat from the banks and the Chinyu Vale. 
But the giant white snake and the giant cub who are here supporting it disobeyed her orders. And she said, Auto play, oh my god, the JWD war, James Payne down the river since then. There's no more flood, everyone who lived peacefully both fly off of the river. <laughs> you might understand a lot, kiddo, but you haven't seen much. Take a close look. There aren't any cops in by the river. See, after it was pinned down by the jays, it's true that the river hasn't flooded. But that's also meant that it hasn't been able to provide integration by from corpse and it wants the giant river flow out. Such a river leaves no sustain for the people on the it's a bank, haha. <laughs> yeah, of course there is also no means of people living peacefully. Life lives in both sides. Paimon gets it now, but did you say that that, that that was resisting a lot of geo little mount? That's how it is. All the time ago, some people believed that the first lot of Lee were left red snappers, but in Chenyu Veil, we believed that he became from. Came. There was other god who did. Blah, blah, blah. I heard Grandpa Liu say that the ceremony actually of a carp adapters who planted the first tea tree. Oh, there aren't this. If that's a man to be baddies, they are serving under the baddies are god after all. In some stories, they are the baddies, while the others, they are the goodies. But it also such a long time ago that even grown ups don't remember much, so they try to bluff me. <laughs> Talking about friends of yours again? Ha! Huh. How can I supernatural things be being held by the right and wrong? As far as we are concerned, all the forces have been blessed and protected the land, deserve our offering. And there you go. <laughs> Alright, time, time to get out of here. Alright, Gramps. God, I hate, I hate auto things, man. I, that auto play wasn't even on. What? Must be Titanic. The adapter come here in shape and size. It could be tall as a mountain, small in dive to uh, To sum up, adapter will. Okay. <laughs> That took a lot out of me. Well, here's Jade Map. How are we gonna find all the Jade underwater? So that's how it is. The spring cries ripple through the veil. The shrine departs from northeast shores. The heights and the shallows of the southeast, southwest height, sun and earth from each other divide. The eternal whirlpool will never turn. The beautiful Jade concealed within. Where's that little mouse singing? It sounds pretty complicated. This is our local folk song. I heard a granny, old granny singing it, and she was gathering herbs. It means if you look out for the center of the river of, to the banks of either side, you will see two shrines hidden in the northwest, northeast and north southwest. This shrine keep the mighty pool whirlpool to the center suppressed. Uh permanent last bit, so the jade is all hidden beneath the whirlpool? Sounds about it. Let's go. But the area between northeast and southwest is so huge, after all, in a broad sense. The northeast and the southwest of Jehmat can include pretty much the whole world. You're always thinking out of the box, Miss Paimon. But there's no need to worry. I already have an idea of where the shrine might be. Because, well, my friend told me. Come on, let's go. Hold up a minute. Does anyone else think the giant maelstrom suddenly appearing here might not be too great? Yeah, wouldn't that mean boats will no longer be able to sail in the in and out the wharf? Oh, don't worry about that. My friend told me that once we are done, what we need to beneath the whirlpool will disappear completely. Otherwise, how would the, all the old boatmen carry on making a living? Ah, well, that's not just a smart whirlpool, it's a considered one to boot. Well then, let's go. That doesn't make sense, but okay. How do I get there? Oh, there we go. Eh. Oh, treasure hoarders. Boop. Hi. Wee! Map. Map. 
Mismo. Wow, hi. I have no idea what's going on, but okay. Good oh, damn. Stop. What is this? You're pretty out of the ordinary. Ooh, chest. Something is glowing between the poles. Okay. Oh. Squiggle Lord. Mine. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's this thing. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, let's see. How do I do this? I think it's an X. Yeah, because it's not lined up. How about we try? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done this before, man. Whoop. And boop. Yeah. Whoa. Guess that settles it then. You're amazing. Even my friend couldn't do anything about the shines. Alright, there you got it. Whoop. Huh, we haven't seen the whirlpool yet from the song yet. Uh, what should we do next? How about giving that adaptive energy of yours a try? Must be convenient for you, huh, kid? Now maybe over here using the adaptive energy. Okay, how do I... There? Uh, okay. Whoa, Spirit adrift, alas. Up. 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 Don't do that, please. Oh, fish. Fujin. Hi Fujin. Awee, Paimon, we meet again. And who might this be? Huh? You haven't met them before? This is Little Mao. He helped us so much along the way. No, we haven't met before, but you must be a good child, Little Mao. Hello, and yes, that's me. Miss, are you an Adaptus? You are, aren't you? This is Adaptus Fujin. Haha. <laughs> Thanks for all the help you have given Awee and Paimon, Little Mao. <gasps> It's really the legendary Fujin in the flash. I can't believe this. I've heard so many stories about you. And now, and now, now I know that you're not some kind of big slippery cop, but a lady instead of like a big sister. Okay. Big cop? Honestly, what kind of story have you been listening to, little Mao? Mm. What is an indeed an adapter and as such can take many forms and one pleases. This particular form seems like the most approachable one for conversing with humans. Hmm, what you have said? You might have a very unique scent, Little Mao. Have you met someone in the mountains before? Someone with red eyes and fair complexion, perhaps? Mm, not exactly, big says Fujin. You're not talking about the one. You're not talking about one of your other friends, are you? My friends from the mountain doesn't sparkle like you do. But she also really cool. She helped me tons and taught me loads. So it was her after all. So your friend wasn't an adapter's Fujin after all? Hmm? Uh, but Big Sis Fujin, my friend too. Now, isn't she? Of course, Little Mao. I'm delighted to have met friends with you. Way to go, Little Mao. You've now met two adapters. So Little Mao met another adapter's? 
As for whether Little Mouth fan counts as an adapter or not, I'm not quite sure myself. After all, Adaptus is merely a title, and it's hard to say whether Adaptus are even people. The word Adaptus is just like any other word, such as hero, villains, or idiot. No one is born an Adaptus, and no one shall remain an Adaptus forever. That's true. So, you've met that little that friend of Little Mouth that we have been talking about, right? Indeed, it's been a long, long time since I saw her. For now. So now I suspect that I don't have don't know her half as well as little Mao does. I'm not even sure if I still count her as a fan. So according to what little Mao said, his friends wants to restore nature. His friends wants to restore nature too. Uh huh. I would imagine so. Anyway, I must ask you, or uh, to please take this piece of vote. Thief Ringjade, I had originally hoped it remained here. It's the same as ever, as it ever was, but never expected it to grow quite like so large. I used to love it. So, this ranger that you mentioned, did it rain down or make it rain or something? <laughs> of course not. After the great change in our geology, our Mm, the ancestors of the people in Chunyu Vale lost their ability to communicate with the heavens and lost the guidance of emissary whose beauty was pure as moonlight. Henceforth, they began to take jade, which glowed as gently as the light of the moon, and cast it into the river. As they did this, they would pray for their own for good omens, for fertile lands, for climate climate weathers and for their riverbanks to hold strong. Over time, this ritual grew in power until one day, one day. Pixis Fujin? What happened? One day, the long war to become the gods who would reign over this world began. Afterward, this tradi tradition lost all its meaning. But though it was forgotten, its name is still passed down over generations. To cut long story short, this piece of votive ranged before us was the very last one ever to be thrown. Just as part of the birth of the surface, when commanded by the adaptor art, can be made the large enough to stop the flood, its core too has been swollen by an uncontrollable adaptor energy. Much of it, its power is dis dissipated, dissipated into the surrounding area through the spirit vein. This power may also have been affected nearby flora and fauna, attracting and even making aberrations of them. You must be careful. Oh, what? As far as I can tell, the adaptor energy that has dissipated nearby should have sufficient to be reawakened the hibernating votive range. If this is the case, we are the one step closer to achieving our goal of nursing the water and the soil back to health. Um, how should I say this? Awe, Paimon, thank you both. You're doing an amazing amazing thing by choosing to help me, you know? And little Mao, will you help me too? Will you help your big sis? Of course, I want to restore nature too. Is that so? Well, that's good to hear. You're very smart, little Mao. You'll understand everything later. Alright then, let's go our separate ways for now. Once you have retrieved the adaptor energy field votive range it, we will meet again at, by the deep pool surrounded by the clouds in the midst of the south. The south, huh? Got it. Eh? She's gone again. Ah well, let's do this. For Big Sis Fujin said, and restore the voting, voting range power. Speaking of which, what is it got to do with voting? You see, um, you're not that much brighter than Paimon, huh? Votive, not voting. Oh, right. Is that so complicated? So since you mentioned this, what does votive even mean? Why is it called range it again? Exactly, what does it mean? Oh. Yeah. Up. Wrong one. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, okay. 
We summon a lot of bones. Investigate. 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 This is not awkward at all. <laughs> it became small. Oh, thanks. Ah, oh, slime. Boop. Bop. Cool. Oh, there's a sea leader. Hmm? Whoa. Oh, cool. I think that's one. Okay, that's one. Should we go up to see? I'm guessing we should. Go, minions. Oh, somebody's gonna die. Okay, I think we're clear. Ah, oh, there's nothing. Wow. Boop. Oh, there's another one of you. Oh, there's. Uh huh. Haha, <laughs> play together. Yeah. Anything <laughs> here? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, it's the thing. Go. Cool. Got another one. Is there a reason why there's three of you? Whoa. Oh. Three for an exquisite chest. Really, bro? Bro. Okay, I need a pyro character? Hmm. Okay. Activate. Jump. Whoop. Uh -huh. Coming maybe. Hey, there's a thing. Cool. Can I climb? Okay. Boop. Phew, that was finally over. Oh, it's... It's making a path for me. Oh, slime. Is there any reason there's a slime here? No. Oh, what is it? Oh, hey. Come back, ball. Oh, come on. Yo, Piggy, come back. Come back. Activate. That's it. What's the point of the... Uh, huh. Come here. Ah, oh, shit. Nah. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna entertain that. Is it up? It is up. Up where? Oh, there we go. Yo! What the? Uh huh. Well, 
動くなやっ風よはっ千人のご功労でよっ投稿しろ方向をたえよう光り輝くがいい I am so not doing damage man Come on, coming, let's go! Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. This is not an ideal team. No, boom. Oh, come on. Go. Turn to the area. I wish there's a quicker way to get up there. There is. I saw that. No, please. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Seems like the jade is starting to move again. That's right. But according to the story, the real bit should have have a lot of others. What if Ranger? Why does Big Sis only want this one? Looks is shining, almost as if it's resonating resonating with the adaptive energy on you, Aoi. Why don't you try using that power, eh? Hey, oh, do you work? What should we do it now? Awesome, suddenly it became small. Yeah, Paimon didn't think it would change size like that. Guess that's the millennium, millennia old treasure for you. It's just like you said, little mouth. They could be as tall as a cloud or small enough to hide amongst the pool of leaf. Huh, yeah, well, looks like the votive ranger is in our hands now. You're so reliable, are we? Hmm, Paimon works hard too. Uh, Miss Paimon is amazing. You're going to take us to that deep pool shrouded in the cloud and mist in the south, right? Clouds and mist, huh? I think I... I think Tony Vale really does have the place like that. But where? Tell us. Guide us. Paimon will take you there. <laughs> okay. Do you remember? The mountain mansion? The spot where we met? That place is super foggy and I know a secret cavern that lives there. Even the other locals don't even know about it. It was my friend who showed me the way. And since you're my friend too, Paimon, I will tell you all about it. You got amazing friends, little Mao. <laughs> of course, well, you're both pretty impressive too. Well, any friends of yours is our friends too. In fact, Paimon hopes we'll meet her in the way, on the way. Shall we go? Paimon will take you all to the place you mentioned, little Mao. Let's go. Alright. Aoi, Paimon! Eek, look out! Behind you! Whoa. Um, get behind me. I'll settle this. Oh, no, no, no. She's my friend. Didn't I tell you before? That I had a lot of friends. I just happened to meet her, so I got a hold of her to introduce you. Um, hi? Hmm. I'm Aoi. This is Mini Pai. <laughs> what kind of name is that? Paimon is Paimon. Hmm. She's a fit of strangers. I usually call her Bluey because I don't really know her name. And don't worry about that. Aoi and Paimon are great people. They have been accompanying me on my adventures. They're real experts in the mountains and forests too. I know, I've seen. 
Answer me this one thing. Where did you gain the power to suppress nature? Suppress nature? What do you mean? Plants pursue the sunlight and fertile soil, creating food fit for the birds and beasts to consume. The digest seeds are scattered, and those which consume seed and food became bait for predators. Thus, does everything return to the land. The snake hidden in the branches, the fish in the mountains, and the beasts in the forest. Travelling in the realm of nature is wonderful, so why have you come? Oh come on Bluey, you don't have to be so fierce. You raised two questions. My adaptor energy came from Adaptus Fujin. Our goal is to nurse the soil and water into new veil. And the adapter energy we use oh, okay. Exactly, something is off about Chinyu's veil natural conditions. So Adaptus Fujin enlisted our help. If we don't well, the tea leaves in Guaying village are gonna turn out worse and worse, and the village itself might be declined. That's why she wanted us to perform the Ranged Rite, which will restore the area. The Ranged Rite? I see. You have answered two of my questions. May I, you may ask me to as well. Uh, do we have to do that? Give and take. It's only natural. You have one more question. Wait a second, that one counted? Uh, whatever, you ask, are we? Did the mouse say you wanted to restore the nature? Do you know Adeptus Fujin? Yes, I know of Fujin. Basically, Adeptus Fujin asked us to help nurse the soil and water into New Vale, so that leaves the tea of tea leaves in Kuyong Village uh, will recover to original flavor. The new tea leaf tastes better, more like before. Uh, More like, whoa, just like that, she's gone? Oh, don't worry about it, Paimon, she's like that. Sometimes when I'm not looking, she'll just vanish into the shadows of the trees. Then at, at, then at others, the sun might dazzle me or the birds might call overhead and there she is. In any case, we're all friends now. I hope so. Don't worry about it, are we? Blue is not big on politeness, she's always been like that. Uh, your friend is pretty strange, little Mao. Is she? Well, for all you know, you're the one who might be seem strange to others. I mean, not only can you use adaptor energy to make most moss disappear, but you can make the golden stored stone things appear and vanish, and even turn into a cup and fly around like stories. You've got a point. That's it. Point one. Can't, couldn't have imagined that the fan of yours always speak about. Well, monster seems a bit rude, and thing might sound pretty offensive. That's right, your fence is blue, so huh? That's why I never told anyone. If the dogs knew that we were fan, they might lock me out. Oh shit! I didn't read that. No, 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 not like that. They just won't let me go out. Make me wash my face and force me to read the books. I wouldn't get out to play the mountains anymore. <laughs> anyway, that's why I never told anyone. But you're my friend, so that's fine. Anyway, come with me. That's an awesome place I would like to show you. Yes. Yo, take care of the nearby miasma. Miasma. Ooh, am I facing? Yeah, I show them yet? No, yes, no, no. Boop boop. Ow, hey, I was flying. Bruh. Hi. Nope. I will heal. Boom. There is this. Huh, look at this. This one I want to show you along the way. Oh, didn't think there was one here. You're amazing, little mom. Looks like the green monster is all over the place too. Come on, Aoi. Let's time to clean this up. 
map Ooh. Yo, awesome, Maui. You push the moss back to just like that. Like you did with the smoky clouds. Still, that wasn't there yesterday. Is this what they call nature? Don't worry about it. Moss or hilly Joe, just leave it to all of them little owl. Little owl, what's this picture of? <laughs> I'm like all over the place. Huh. Well, originally, I didn't know either, but I figured out today after hearing Big Sis Fujin's story. This might be the stuff that happened before the model on Mount Ling Meng was made. See this? Long, long ago, people were able to talk to the gods and at that time, in the skies, like by talking to the big piece of jade in the middle. The emissary of the gods would lead them to protect them. See? That's gotta be the shiny golden person standing in the middle. I bet that was a super amazing person. But later, just like Big Fu says Fujin said, something changed. And the people of Chunyo Vale lost their guiding emissary. And they couldn't talk to the heavens any longer. That's how the Ranged Ride came about. Hmm, the story makes sense. Thanks, what do you think? Uh, you're a pretty bright spark, little Mao. A distinct possibility, I'm not sure. <laughs> Come to think of it, our ancestors were pretty amazing themselves, huh? The jays they left to us still have the power to restore nature. For something like this old to still be so strong, the past must have been sweller times than the present, huh? Uh, that's not true. The world marches onwards. That's right. The world been constantly in the decline. <laughs> Leaving the accumulated detritus of the past in its wake. That's really cool though. I never thought about it that way. Huh. Paimon thinks you're a pretty amazing one, little Mao. We've seen a lot of ancient objects, puzzles, mysterious powers, and monsters in our time, but Paimon never considered this stuff before. Oh, you know what? Maybe thinking about this stuff is pretty awesome too. Really, I bet you'll just... You'll be just like Big Sister when you grow up. Just having fun, adventuring everywhere. Oh, you have a Big Sister then? Well, we're not blood related, but she worked here in Junior Vale for a while. She go up the mountains and run around the rivers. I follow her. We discovered this little cave together. She said that this cave is my Rubicon. Ah, uh, not that I know what that means. However, she haven't written me in a long time. I guess we were. I would too. I guess she's off adventuring in some fa some far away place. Maybe in the ancient city of Wise and something like that. Huh, Big Sis of your sure sounds like an interesting person. I know, right? Still, Big Sis Fujin needs our help. Let's continue on. Oh, there you are. I was so worried. Oh, a golden cup. <clears throat> One is quite concerned that the swirling miasma and fierce beast that roams might cause you ill. But one sees that it is not so, and that's good. Thanks to the e that to energy you possess, as are we? One has been connected to the golden cup here, thus gaining the means to speak with you directly. Oh, wait, Paimon, little Mao, please come with me. What is it, fish? Doo -doo. What is that? Is that? Wait, do I have that? Wait, I don't have it. Okay, never mind. Pop. Damn it. Whoa. It's super amazing. Of course I am. Before one such trivial matters, I have no idea what you said. Oh man. I can swim, right? Okay, cool. Oh, there's a silly there. Um, 
What's happened? Much time has passed since I last emerged here. This was once a lively place filled with aroma of incense. Then the three of us could travel freely across the mountains and rivers. Yes, those days were like flowering, flowing water beneath the moon, dark yet sparkling, oh so brightly. Ah, but enough reminiscing. Thanks to you all, I am now be able to return here and host the Winged Ride. So you're the person in the mural. Oh, I get it now. The person standing in the mountain hugging the egg. That was you, wasn't it? An egg? Uh, come on now, little mouse. That was a precious jade. Casting rain jade is a ritual of great power. And the votive rain jade can calm rivers, improve the weather. But it can also be a thing of death and slaughter. Only the tiniest lines separate curse and adapt no energy. They have aided you up to now. That is why I must make sure that the right does not fall into the hands of those who would have do ill. That's why. <clears throat> yes, that's correct. One is indeed a f the figure who hugged that egg in a mural. So, Big Sis Fujin, doesn't that make you pretty um ancient? Yes, it does. Still, I do like the big name Big Sis. It does quite. Make me feel young. Well, being called an adapter is pretty alright too. Right? Well, certainly. Though, even if the others, other titles title me as such, I'm aware that I am hardly the equal of the true adapter like Mountain Shimper and the rest. In truth, the weakness of my band of friends, I cannot. I'm the weakest of the band of my friends. I cannot make medicine to save others, nor that I can bound across mountains and plains. Even so, I could not simply lay the title down. Would I have done the people of Chinyu Vale disservice, I fear. Still, you may call me whatever you wish. After all, we have become friends also, I should say. In any case, my days of being an adapter are now consigned into history, just like this place has been. Once the Winged Ride was a day of great celebration where we would commemorate the year of abundance using laughter, firecracker battles and beast dance to frighten the ill omens away, this must appear like naught but forgotten ruins in, to the modern mind. Well, not completely forgotten. That's right. People in Queen Queen Kola village told us that the arm, the mighty adeptus Fujin who defeated the demons and planted the first tea tree. Back on bamboo breath, Grandpa Lu also mentioned that the offering of teas were to a certain carp adeptus. And was it an opera song in a breath about the carp going around killing stuff? <laughs> you were so awesome in the story, Big Sis Fujin. Also, people do the wushu dance, you know? You said it yourself, the definition of adaptus is... Oh. Also putting the definition aside, your friends, Fujin. We are, you are our friends, Fujin. You shouldn't be consistently fretting about the ride and stuff. You should live happily, like with companions on the adventure. That's right, we're on an adventure together. Right, yes, you're right. Thank you. That was well said, indeed. I was the one who asked you all to help. It wouldn't do it. It wouldn't do all at all if I just continue wallowing in the past. Now would I? In any case, I need your help prepare the fight itself. In any case, I've encountered a sac sacred simulacra in your adventures, right? Those were the ritual spirits often used by people in ancient times to protect their home. There should be some nearby. Little Mao, Aoi, Paimon, please help me put the Simulaka in their proper place. That way we can restore the stipid vein on the Ranger. Alright.
That was a dialogue and a half. Uh, oh. Oh. Um. Uh huh? There we go. Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Huh? Oh my god. And for the right, huh? Well, let me help you. Thanks. I I'm not sure what you said. Boop, boop. Whoa. He's a big boy. I'm guessing it's a C. Huh? Huh? Oh, come on. This is so bad. No, stop moving. Okay, cool. Go! Life position. Oh, is another big boy.